I'm sure you've heard the term energy before, but what does it really mean? What is energy? In this video, we'll define energy. We'll talk about the SI unit for energy, and I'll identify about seven different types of energy, and at the end, there will be a little challenge for you. Energy, by definition, is the ability to cause change. It's the ability to cause change. Some people define it as the ability to do work or the ability to move matter, or something like that. Any of those definitions are just fine. They all kind of mean the same thing. But in, in all reality, energy is how we get things done. If you didn't have any energy, you wouldn't be able to play games, you wouldn't be able to move, you wouldn't be able to think, you wouldn't be able to really do anything without energy. Energy is what gives life to things, and it allows us to do what we need to do. Andre Agassi in this picture is smacking a tennis ball, and I'd say he's using between, I don't know, 30 or 40 joules of energy to hit that ball. Speaking of joules, the SI unit for energy is the joule. SI standing for System International. That's the international system of units that the world has agreed upon so that we all measure using the same things and we don't get confused. So the joule is how we measure energy. It's abbreviated as J in problems and it means one newton meter. They're the same thing. One joule is equal to one newton meter. If you know anything about forces and distance, that's where newton and meters comes from. N dot M means newton times meter. The dot means times. And so in reality, what does this mean? Well, if you apply a force over a distance, like let's say you push a box one meter, you're going to have to apply a force to make it move. And as it moves, it's going to cross a distance. That required energy. That's where the joule, the unit comes from, is when you apply a force, something moves over distance, it requires energy. So work and energy are very closely related. I mean, they're practically the same thing, but they're a little bit different, which I'll explain later. But how much work does a, a joule really stand for? I mean, we always say a paper clip is about a gram. That gives people a good idea of what a gram really is. But how much work does a joule? Like, what is, what is, how much energy is that? Well, if you take a hamburger, hamburguesa, a quarter pounder, and you raise it up about one meter. You just pick it up from the floor, you dropped it. You picked it up from the floor and raised it about one meter, that quarter pounder, that would be one joule of work. One joule of energy, sorry, work, energy. They're so close, Ugh, so confusing. Now since I said energy is measured in joules, you might kind of think that all energy is the same since it's all measured in the same unit. But in reality, there are many different forms of energy. There are actually seven different forms of energy and they can all be remembered easily by the acronym Mrs. Chen. Thank you for helping us, Mrs. Chen. Glad you're here. Actually, she's not real. She's just an acronym. But anyway, the M stands for mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is energy of movement. It's found in objects that are moving or have the potential to move. It's energy of movement, and it's found in objects that are moving or have the potential to move. So the drummer swinging his arms, it's definitely mechanical energy because he's moving, but let's say you have a bowling ball that's just sitting motionless at the top of the Empire State Building. That still has mechanical energy because it has the potential to move. I mean, think about it. If that bowling ball were to fall off the Empire State Building, it could cause some major damage, right? So it has the potential to move, which means it, even though it's not moving, it still has mechanical energy. The next one is radiant energy, hence the picture of the sun. And radiant energy is energy that travels in the form of electromagnetic waves. Radiant energy is energy that travels in the form of electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves are things like gamma rays, microwaves, UV rays, X-rays, things like that. All right, those are all forms of electromagnetic waves. Pretty cool things to research if you want to look up some articles on that. It's kind of fun. And then we have sound energy. That's the next one. Yes. Sound energy always starts, it's actually a form of mechanical energy, it's a form of mechanical energy, but it starts with a vibration in matter. So let's just say this bell like was, was dinged, you struck the bell, it's going to actually cause a vibration in the air, which is going to send out a sound wave that eventually hits somebody's eardrum and your ear, you know, translates that into a sound that your brain can understand and that's, that's it. So it always starts with a vibration in matter. Sound energy is a form of mechanical energy that starts with a vibration in matter. Next up we have chemical energy. Chemical energy is energy that is stored in the bonds between atoms of compounds. It's energy that is stored in the bonds between atoms of compounds. 
all the energy we get from food, we, we don't even realize how much it really is. I mean, there's a ton of energy in the food that we eat. It powers our bodies throughout the day for 24 hours a day, you know, three meals a day. It's amazing how much energy is in that. Um, if you ever have a chance, YouTube Gummy Bear Execution. YouTube Gummy Bear Execution, you'll get a sense of how much energy is in just one little gummy bear. I mean, there's some other chemicals that they put in the test tube that they do the experiment in, but it's amazing how much energy can be formed from just a simple chemical reaction. There are millions of chemical reactions happening in our bodies all day long as we digest food. The next form of energy is heat energy. Heat energy is the energy of moving atoms of matter. It's the energy of moving atoms of matter. And in reality, all, all matter has heat energy. Some has a little, some has a lot. I mean, even an ice cube has a little bit of heat energy because the atoms are moving. They might be moving kind of slowly, but they're still moving, so they still have some, some heat energy, some thermal energy. So I'll put an H on the fire there. The next form of energy is electrical energy. Electrical energy is energy of moving electrons. Electrical energy is energy of moving electrons. And so and anytime you plug something in, like a power cord, this is not to scale at all. Electrons are way, way smaller. But electrons flow through cords, and they go into your devices, your iPads, your light bulbs, all that stuff. It's a flow of moving electrons. That's what electrical energy is. And then finally, we have nuclear energy. Nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is energy that is stored in the nuclei of atoms. Nuclear energy is energy that is stored in the nuclei of atoms. And if we were to split atoms, it releases a ton of energy. And if we're to join two atoms together, it also releases a ton of energy. Splitting atoms apart is called fission. That's what happens in nuclear power plants. And then fusion is when you put two atoms together. That's what happens in the sun. We're trying to get fusion to work on the earth. We've done it before, but we haven't really got it to work in a big power plant yet. But we're working on it. It's getting there. So yeah, so thank you, Mrs. Chen, for helping us remember all the forms of energy. And let's put our skills to the test. We have a picture here of a dude singing at a concert. Let's just see how many forms of energy you can identify in this picture. Hint, there are six. See if you can find six of the seven forms of energy in this picture. Go. Well, that's all for today. In this video, you learned what energy was. It's the ability to cause change or to do some work. After that, we talked briefly about units, specifically the joule, which is the unit for measuring energy. And finally, I buzzed through the seven forms of energy, defined each one, and gave you lots of helpful examples and descriptions. Remember Mrs. Chen? Great way to remember all seven forms of energy. Take care.